Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, we are going to talk about the marking scheme in SEBI IT phase 2. So SEBI IT का जो phase 2 exam होता है, वो हमारा दो parts में divided होता है, paper 1 and paper 2. So paper 1 आपका English descriptive होता है and paper 2 is your coding paper. So coding paper is uh, very different uh, in terms of marking, in terms of pattern. And uh, SEBI is uh, changing the pattern every year almost. In 2020, it was different and then uh, after that, it uh, went out to be something which needs changes and they did that thing. So, the entire thing that we are going to discuss here is the marking, how you ensure that you know the correct format, the correct way to attempt the paper. Okay, so this uh, particular video is only about the IT part, that is the SEBI IT phase 2 paper 2. Okay, English descriptive is pretty much similar to the other exam. So, we are not discussing that in this video. We are going to discuss highly and fully on the paper 2 of the phase 2. That is completely IT coding paper. So, before going ahead, we should know what the syllabus we have to cover for this paper. So, the syllabus says it has four topics. Algorithm, data structures, string manipulation, object-oriented programming. Now, under these three uh, uh, things, uh, basically I combine the string manipulations uh, with the algorithm. That's why I'm saying three. Otherwise, if you see, there are four topics and all these four topics are having some set of sub concepts. So you don't have to exactly learn everything under these topics. What you need to do, you need to understand the concepts mentioned under these topics. Now you see the weightage that is given to every topic. For algorithm, it is 30. For data structure, it is 40. For string manipulation, it is just 10. And for the object-oriented programming concepts like the OOPS pillar, which stands for abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance, it is of 20. Cumulatively and total, it is 100. Now, there is a star mark. Weightages are indicative only. It means it is not like you will get 30 of the algorithm only or 40 of the data structure. But yes, there are near, near about this only. Like you can get uh, uh, 39 or uh, 29 or 35 for algorithm for the data structure you might get 30 you might get 45 but yes plus minus 5 plus minus uh, 6 is uh, the thing that you can expect in the changes with this star mark okay so this is the thing that you need to understand here you will see they are giving very known topics uh, which you guys have learned when you are studying the computer science and IT subjects these are the topics that everyone should know so the basic problem here lies that we know the topic, but we don't know how to ace that topic. When we know the topic, when we don't know how to ace the topic, then we lack something that is called as practice. So the basic pillar to crack this exam is to practice a lot of coding questions. And that should be like uh, only concentrated for these four topics. Okay. So this is about the syllabus and how you should actually go about it. We'll make a separate video how you should prepare yourself for these all four topics. Now, let's come to the main point of for this video. The main point for this video are uh, being taken from the handout that was released by SEBI in 2022. So these are the exact lines from the hands out and you should understand these very closely when you are going to attempt the paper. So now SEBI has changed its pattern as compared to 2021 and now in 2022 they are different and uh, I think that they are going to stick it for 2023 and years on. So now the total duration of the exam will be 3 hours and 30 minutes. 3 hours and 30 minutes out of which you will be having 30 minutes specifically for reading not for attempting. So you won't be able to start the exam until the initial 30 minutes are like uh, finished. Okay, so you will get entire 30 minutes to read and to make the strategy to choose what questions you have to attempt actually. Okay, now this time the Parikshak will be blocked. What is Parikshak? For all those who don't know, Parikshak is the platform where you are going to solve your question. Okay, it's like a editor, like we have normal editors for C++, Python, Java. This is an editor which will help you to write your code, Parikshak. You can get this from the CDAC website as well. If you want to like have an understanding how this looks like, you can go to the CDAC website and you can get an uh, understanding for this kind of platform. Now, 30 minutes, how many questions you have to read? So you have to read nine questions. Out of those nine questions, you don't have to attempt all the nine questions. You are having the privilege that you can choose the six questions to attempt. Now, 
you have to understand how you are going to choose those six questions. So the complexity of this entire paper is divided into three parts, simple, medium and high. The simple uh, questions will be four. The medium questions will be three and the high difficulty level questions will be two. Out of four simple questions, you have to attempt three. Out of three medium questions, you have to attempt two. Out of two high difficulty questions, you have to attempt only one. Okay, so now three, two and one. This counts to six. Four, three, two, that counts to nine. So out of nine, you have to attempt six. But keep in mind which category you have to go. So you can leave one question in every category. Okay. Now, the maximum marks that will be allocated for those questions will be 10, 20 and 30 respectively. So now three questions for uh, 10 marks, that is 30. Two questions for 20 marks, that is 40. And one question for 30 marks, that is 30. Overall, it is 100 now. I hope you understand the entire uh, pattern of the exam. Now, once these 30 minutes are given to you at the start of the exam, you have to understand what all six questions you have to attempt. And you can use the pen and papers, you can write some pseudo algorithms, you can just write uh, uh, whatever thoughts are coming in your mind, what algorithm have you prepared for uh, like uh, making the question solve. Okay, so these all things you can do in your 30 minutes, sufficient time and you can easily decide which questions you have to attempt. After those 30 minutes are over, you will be asked to get into the Pariksha, the Pariksha will be unblocked and now you have to actually start typing the question. You can't waste a single minute because you already have 30 minutes so you can't afford to wait and to waste any kind of time from that th three hours of chunk. So three hours are sufficient if you are going to code for six coding questions where three will be easy, two will be medium and one will be high. Okay, so now let's talk about the uh, things how you are going to attempt the questions. Let's say uh, you attempted all the six questions. Now there is 30 minutes left and you are sure that you can't do better than this on those six questions. You have a chance that you can attempt any other questions as well. So in case where candidates are going to solve more than the required number of questions of any particular complexity type, they are going to get the marks for only the six questions. But yes, you will have a kind of uh, thing where the lowest marks will be discarded and the uh, top three will be taken. For example, here we have an example from SEBI only that in case a candidate solve all the four questions related to the simple complexity type during the evaluation and let's say he has got 10, 6, 8 and 8 marks for those problems. So now when the evaluation is going to get uh, uh, like um, graded, you will not be uh, like uh, counted upon the question which gives you 6 marks. So you will be getting 10 plus 8 plus 8. That is how much 10 plus 16 that is 26 out of 30 okay not like 8 8 or 6 or 10 6 or 8 no order the top three will be taken similarly go for the medium and for the high okay so it's just like if you attempt maximum than the required more than the required number of uh, things you will be getting only the marks which are on the higher sides okay so if you do anything extra uh, then it's up to you you are not going to get the four uh, like uh, you are not going to get 10 plus 6 plus 8 plus 8 for uh, things. Okay, you won't be getting that thing. So keep in mind before choosing the question, which question you have to choose. And if you have a lot of time, if you don't feel like doing anything, and if you attempt anything, you have to make sure that whatever you are going to attempt now should be the better attempt than the previous one. Okay. Now, environment. What kind of environment we are going to get? So for C++, Java and Python, these will be the three things that you will be allowed to code in the exam. And there are the versions, the compiler versions for C++, GCC is 9.3, pretty much outdated uh, as compared to the one that we are running today. For Java, it is 1.8 and for Python, it is 3.5. So what you can do at least up till this level, start preparing everything, get to know what kind of libraries are supported here. Because if you are, let's say you are using something with the 11, 17 or 14 version for C++, you might be having extra concepts, extra libraries, extra API support, which you cannot use in 9.3. So just make sure whichever version you are using uh, that inclines uh, with the environment that SEBI is going to provide in the exam. Okay, now let's come to the marking thing, how you're going to get marks. So now every question will have some test cases. Okay, and those will not be visible to you. The test cases that your code is going to have the code will be checked against those test cases but you are not having any kind of uh, uh, like uh, environmental uh, pattern that you can get to know what kind of test cases your exam is getting checked upon so overall when you run your code when you submit it to the grader the grader is going to get some set of test cases which will be checked 
okay and you will get y and n as the result y means you have passed it's a big yes and n means you haven't passed it or you can get a x as well okay so x means uh, that whatever your code has been there it failed for the particular test case and y it means it has been passed so let's uh, see how the marking is going there so minimum they say that you can get five test cases at least in every question minimum five test cases so either it be 10 mark a question 20 mark or 30 mark a question there will be minimum five test cases there can be more than that as well like six seven eight or ten but minimum there will be five now once your compilation is successful once you submit the program for the input for the test cases to be checked minimum five test cases will be checked and you will be getting the five y or 5x or some combination of y and x but only 5 because it is going to get checked for 5 let's say now you must get minimum two y's okay so if you are having five test cases you should get minimum two y that means two test cases are passed so that only your submitted code will be considered for the evaluation okay make a note again i'm repeating it again and again i will be repeating it in hindi agar aapke code mein five टेस्ट केसेस चेक हुए हैं यू हैव टू गेट मिनिमम टू करेक्ट आपको दो करेक्ट करने ही करने हैं अगर आपने मिनिमम दो टेस्ट केसेस करेक्ट नहीं किए हैं तो आपका कोड इवैल्यूएशन के लिए कंसीडर नहीं किया जाएगा ओके सो यू हैव टू गेट एटलीस्ट टू टेस्ट केसेस करेक्ट नो मैटर इट इज फाइव और इट इज सिक्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट यू हैव टू गेट एटलीस्ट टू करेक्ट इफ यू आर लेस देन दैट you will get a big zero you won't get any marks okay let's say you get more than two how the marking is going to happen after that so there will be the marking based upon the proportional thing so whatever proportion of the test cases you have made correct you will get marks according to that for example if you get three y's out of six test cases and uh, the marks are going to get allotted for the half of the maximum marks that you are assigned for that question let's say you are having a 30 mark question where you are having six test cases you pass three so you will get 15 marks okay if you passed four you will get how much marks 2 by 3 of 30 okay that means 20 marks similarly the things are going to get aligned as per the maximum number of uh, marks that is being allocated to a question and the test cases that you did correct but again the main point is you have to get at least minimum two correct okay if you don't get to correct you are not going to get yourself or your question submitted for the evaluation so you won't get any marks and make sure whatever questions you are attempting at least two test cases should be correct if there is only one test case correct you are going to get big zero and your time is wasted so this was all about the marking scheme the environment the points that you need to know and about the syllabus for sevi it phase 2 exam now if you like this video do hit the like button and if you are still an unsubscribed user please do subscribe the channel so that you can get regular update from our side do press the bell icon so that whenever we post any video you get the direct notification on your phone or your laptop if you have any further doubts you can reach out to us at hello at ixambi.com also you can reach out to us at the number which is shown on the screen right now and if you want to check our course you can go to www.ixambi.com where you will find our course by the name of sebit you can enroll for the demo course and can check what we are offering now this was all about from my side for the uh, pattern exam of sebi it phase 2 we'll keep on bringing some more videos on the sebi but by the time we keep uh, bringing the next video stay updated and keep practicing